Hello there, Capricorn. Welcome to your 2019 six month overview. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a look at the first six months of 2019 for you, January through June. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. If you would like a personal look into your own first six months of the year, maybe even just your own three month, first three months of the year, whatever you like, please, go ahead and email me. These readings are available for personal consumption. And this doesn't have to be just from the beginning of the year to whatever. This could You could order one of these at any moment in the year if you are looking just for an upcoming forecast as to what might be coming down the pipeline for you, okay? And I do want to say that, and I haven't said this with the other signs, but I'm going to continue saying it now because I started with Sagittarius, but... <clears throat> This is not fortune telling, okay? I am not a fortune teller. I do tell that pe tell people that all the time. Instead, what I do is I read the energies that are surrounding you of whatever's going on around you or the event or, or situation that you're dealing with, and I help you get a greater understanding of those energies so that you can make a better decision on how to proceed moving forward, okay? Ultimately, it is your, your choice to do what it is you will with the energy surrounding you, okay? Now, for this reading, I'm going to be pulling one card for each month from the major arcana of the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Now, this deck is fairly new to me, so I'm most likely going to be using the book a little bit. Um, but I've had the, the deck for a while, but I just haven't really been working with it much. And then I'm going to be getting some clarification for each month from the traditional tarot. And in this situation, I am using the Crystal Visions tarot. Yeah? All right, guys. So let's get to it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us an accurate representation of what could be coming on down the pipeline for Capricorn for the first six months of 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Capricorn, so let's get straight into it, yeah? For your first month of January 2019, let's see what we've got for you. January 2019 for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we're going to try that again. One card, please, for January 2019 for Capricorn. We have... Love, oh, and that, now I'm getting that this is definitely self-love for the most part. Let's see what else. February, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 2019. What's going on for February for Capricorn? Seems like you're not really wanting to talk much, Capricorn. Why is that? Here we go. March, January, I'm sorry, February is self. That Okay, okay, so you see, what I was getting from for January was self-love, okay? And so this connects you to that in January, and now you have a greater expression or a greater uh, ability to get a greater understanding or a better connection with yourself. Ding, ding, ding. I just saw 333, 333 on the counter. That's awesome. All right, so for the month of March, Capricorn, let's see what else we've got. March, you've got... Intuition, okay. April, abundance, fantastic. May, for the month of May 2019 for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got going on, Spirit? May 2019 for Capricorn. Hmm, Capricorn, let's see what we've got for you. May 2019. Woo-hee! All right, we've got the mother. And this, to me, is the empress. Is like the depiction of the empress in this deck. So finally, for June, you have... For Capricorn. The father. Wow! Well, that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm really... I'm going to go ahead and say... Uh, I'm just going to say it right off the bat that it's looking like the first six months of 2019, or we, actually, I really feel like you could say all of 2019, um, 
uh, uh, is about the balance of masculine and feminine within and finding self-love, uh, becoming connected with the self, becoming, and then as you can become connected with the self, you be connected with, you come, you become connected with intuition, your own personal intuition, which leads you to understanding the abundance. Okay. So that, wow, Capricorn, this is really fantastic. So you start your year with connecting with love particularly self-love that leads you to a greater understanding and uh, recognition and acceptance of yourself which then allows you to open up to your intuition which then leads you to opening up to the abundance of the universe and finally then with the mother you really begin to embody that abundance that fertility the divine feminine energy because the divine feminine is on the rise right now and from there you heal as you heal your own inner feminine you work towards healing your own inner masculine and that brings that balance of masculinity and femininity in there for you I mean Capricorn look at that and that's just the beginning of your year the first six months of your year moving forward from there would be the expression of this balance okay so let's get into the specifics so we're starting the year we're starting January with love and this is definitely the universe every time I speak on it the universe is saying this is all about self-love union with the self okay um, I really feel like you're getting to a point where or at least you have the opportunity to um, understand yourself deeper right but the universe i really feel like the the universe is going to be showering you with unconditional love and it's going to be so strong that you really can't deny it um i really feel like you have the potential for clearing up any sort of discrepancies that you may have towards love that keep you from loving yourself as you truly are capricorn one more shuffle and then let's get some clarification here, shall we? For January, for Capricorn, we've got the Empress in reverse. Okay. All right. So you're starting your year off with a lesson in abundance um, and self-love, but also this is unconditional love. All right. You have the Empress in reverse, the Page of Wands in reverse, the Three of Wands upright. It's as if some of you were looking, were investing, investing, investing in things, but trying to invest in yourself, but the inspiration, ah, the sun, the inspiration just wasn't there with the page of wands in reverse. It's as if the two of wands, look at that. It's as if you were investing in something that you really weren't pa that passionate about, and that was blocking you from abundance. And the three of cups, okay. Three of Cups here in this situation is the balance between mind, body, and spirit. The Three of Cups is also a union card, uh, a card of union. And I really feel like that's your central theme starting off your year. You're working towards union with the self, okay? Now, with all of this that you were in, you've been investing in, Sagittarius, it's like you were blocking yourself from really achieving what it is you wanted. Page of Wands in reverse, um, lack of inspiration lack of true enthusiasm but this is all for the self it's like you were trying to invest in yourself you were trying to get yourself going but you still didn't believe in yourself that much with the empress in reverse here this is a card of unconditional love and it's like you you didn't really love yourself enough to really allow this to flourish okay but here now you have the illumination of that the sun and this is also saying that things are looking bright for the future because you see this person is looking off into the distance in the two of wands and there's all that sun like energy out here in the distance here so it's like things are looking bright but you need to accept yourself for who you are okay and I think and, and that's absolutely the theme for January. It's about clearing up all these discrepancies that keep you from loving yourself for who you are 
and that keep you from really manifesting your true abundance, what you truly desire to achieve or accomplish or experience in this life. And so then when you get into February, you have the self. And this is where you have the potential for that unconditional love to really be activated within you. This is getting to the core of yourself. What do you have here? The Ten of Swords. Look at that. Um, this is getting to the core of yourself. This is understanding yourself on a deeper level. This is becoming more and more acquainted with yourself and loving yourself for the individual that you are, the uniqueness that you bring into this world. You don't, and, and it's interesting because Capricorn is a cardinal energy. So they're very much leaders, um, but they're leaders in a more like of an executive point of view. But I feel like that kind of leads you into a pitfall because of your earth, um, the earth element that you represent you kind of can be about conformity and, uh, and and leading from that point of view. But then that kind of backfires on yourself, doesn't it? Because it allows, it keeps you from being a true individual. Well, now you have, uh, with this sense of love that you're connecting with, look at that, the Ten of Wands. With this sense of love that you're connecting with, um, and this is love for the self here, okay. This is love for the self here. You are now getting to a position where you can be an authentic version of yourself. Four of Cups is underneath the deck. And as you work with this self energy here, this energy of the self, that is a lot of cards, but we're gonna take it and we're gonna read through it in just a moment. As you work through this self identification, you realize how you have been burdening yourself, 1111 on the counter with the 10 of wands. But you see, you have the chance, the opportunity to end all of that with the 10 of swords. You have some serious completion here because of the realization of self in this situation, in this circumstance. Four of Cups is under, I love the way the Four of Cups is depicted in this deck because this shows a person, instead of being um, consumed or focused on the Three of Cups that is behind her in this sense, she's more focused on the Ace of Cups. Whereas in other decks, they're more focused on the Three of Cups than that Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is obviously divine love or self-love. So you are looking at potentially all the opportunities you may have missed out on because of all these burdens you were carrying. These burdens being the burdens of not being a truer expression of yourself. And if that's not the case, it's not appreciating this true expression of yourself. Because like I said, for some of you, you were working on being yourself, doing what it is that you do, that you enjoy doing, or at least what you thought you enjoyed doing. But because you weren't really being true to and honoring your true self and loving yourself unconditioning for who you truly are, um, that was creating a blockage for you. So you've got the Three of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Six of Cups, Justice, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Chariot. You have two, you have the two depictions of Cancerian energy here between the Chariot and the Queen of Cups. Now, uh, you also have uh, Libran energy here with Justice, but this is not really about the signs. Uh, but Cancerian energy, I feel like, is very um, important for you here because can cancer is just is is just like you capricorn in the sense that cancer is also a cardinal energy uh, so you are cancerians are a leader and actually cancer is your opposite sign within the zodiac um, but cancerian energy is 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 important for you here in this situation because this is the type of energy that will teach you or allow you to be accepting of or integrate this energy of unconditional self-love, okay? Or unconditional love as the whole. The Cancerian is the leader when it comes to family and nurturance. And this is what you're really needing, energy that nurtures who you truly are because that has been this source of heartbreak for you. Three of Swords. So now the Cancerian energy comes through with the Queen of Cups. This is emotional nurturance. This is just nurturance as a whole. Um, emotional stability also. Uh, unconditionally loving energy as well. With the Six of Cups, it's going to bring justice in to the past for you. Well, justice from... Yeah, justice is going to be infused to help heal the past, to heal the present, for you to get moving forward in a new direction. You have the Nine of Cups. 
you have um, the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment here. The Four of Swords to me is like using this month as rest, recalibration, meditation, healing, and especially look at the way the self card is depicted. She's in a meditative state. Uh, the Four of Swords is about rest, recuperation, and meditation, maybe even prayer. It could look like they're both praying. This is a very similar energy. And then here's more Cancerian energy, but this is Cancerian energy to move forward with your emotions and your sense of self in balance okay excellent excellent capricorn so now we're going to move on to march which is intuition so what i'm getting with this is that um as you work towards understanding yourself better you gain this greater sense of self you gain this greater what's the phrase i'm looking for um, acceptance of self, then your intuition can really start to ramp up. And that's what I see this saying for you in the month of March. Now understand guys that energies are fluid. So this could be flowing, changing throughout the year for you. It doesn't have to be um, point blank, you know, definitive, <laughs> definitive switches, but this is all how the energies are flowing for you this year okay so you have the page of pentacles here you go brand new start when it comes to um the physical reality this is the level up here wow look at this you have the lovers and you've got the king of cups so now you have the counterpart to the cancerian energy here uh the queen of cups and the king of cups in this next month and so here what this is saying to me is emotional maturity is really going to help you get this brand new start the gemini energy here of the lover some of you may be connecting with someone in this month of march you may meet someone new that represents this king of cups energy for you it could be a counterpart for you um but it's all about emotional maturity wow underneath the deck oh look at this underneath the deck you have the king of pentacles so this could be your energy here it's mostly taurus but it could be another earth sign so potentially you capricorn um also you have earth energy here with the queen i'm sorry with the knight i'm, I'm sorry try that again the page of pentacles so this is definitely you capricorn um, but you also have, you have the King of Cups and you have the Queen of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Wands in reverse is representing these energies of lack of self-confidence, lack of self-belief. And I really feel like... Um, oh, it's also uh, over, overly prideful overly ambitious maybe but i feel like all of that energy that is represented here by the queen of wands is what has been helping blocking you helping block you from your intuition okay and as you're going through this ident re-identification of self you're now by march you have the opportunity to be in this phase where you're reintegrating with your intuition which is definitely something here that's represented here by the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it's mostly the Scorpio energy in that it is a fixed energy. But this is the expression of your intuition without fear, shame, or anything like that. And underneath the deck here, so now you have the King of Pentacles, of whom is someone that is really well manifested, okay? And I'm seeing you as really grounding everything, all the things that you have learned, the balance between masculine and feminine, the balance within your own self. Uh, you had all of the queen energy, you had a bunch of queen energy in the, in the month prior, and now in this month you do have the queen of wands in reverse, but this is the release of all the negativity that I'm, that I'm seeing has been holding you back. That being, I mean, uh, 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 that being, you know, overzealous ego or lack of self-belief just to name a few and now you're balancing and integrating here and that's allowing your intuition to come forward even more and that's fantastic capricorn that's really fantastic so now as we move into april you have 
abundance, okay? And so now that you've really connected with your intuition, you've, well, you connected with yourself and then ultimately you've connected with your intuition, you have a greater connection with the abundance of the universe. And I'm seeing this as, this is really all a progression here. And I'm seeing this as you're now becoming aware of the abundance of the universe. We're not ready yet. Uh, aware of the abundance of the universe here, okay? That's beautiful. So now you're really starting to get an idea of how abundant the universe is and how that can work in your favor. You may be working towards learning the laws of attraction here, the, how, uh, the laws of abundance here, how to flow with abundance. I mean, Capricorn, I really feel like you can get um, easily caught up in fear of lack of abundance. So for some of you, this is a serious, serious change, a serious lesson, a serious integration here for you, Capricorn. This is a really great opportunity. If you've had any sort of, um, if you've lived or, or have acquired a lack mentality in some way, whether that be it from, you know, ancestors, your family, your parents growing up, or just something that you've learned or acquired over the course of your life, I really feel like you have an opportunity here to break free from that, okay? One more shuffle for you here, Capricorn, and then we'll get some uh, uh, clarification on abundance here for you for your month of April. Three of Swords. Yeah, it's really, wow. There's that Ten of Swords again. Excellent. So the, the um, lack of abundance here, this uh, lack mentality has really been something that's been holding you back, breaking your heart. Um, it's been a source of heartbreak because you're betraying yourself. If you, if, the more you stay in a lack mentality, the more you reinforce your disconnection from the abundance of the universe. And that absolutely will be a self-defeating situation. Underneath the deck, you do have the 10 of cups. So, wow, that's powerful in and of itself, just by what we're talking about here. But then you get into the rest of the situation and you've got, with the three of swords, you've got the 10 of swords and the moon, all right? So there is an ending here. There is an ending of all this uh, mental, this uh, mental heartbreak, this mental um, destruction, uh, lack mentality, fear. Okay, you have the star. You have the star with the four of wands and the seven of wands. Healing boundaries, not allowing yourself to cross over into this fear and this lack mentality anymore period. And then finally, boop, you've got this king of wands. Look at that. Now you have the counterpart to the queen of wands that came out in the previous month. That's really cool. <laughs> you have two counterparts coming out here. And so now you, this, you have the opportunity to set the boundaries and keep yourself in check and to get fixed into this new energies of self-belief because the king of wands is a fixed energy so that's leo energy um so you have the opportunity now to really get a good solid foundation for yourself to heal with the star to work on some wish fulfillment to get a good foundation with the four of wands to put some good boundaries in place with the seven of wands and to really get moving forward fixed in your new sense of self and sense of abundance with the king of wands excellent capricorn this is really turning out to be quite beautiful for you okay so next in the month of may you have the mother and this really couldn't be a more perfect card to symbolize the month of may because the mother very much is like the empress to me here okay you have the page of cups coming out so far the page of cups is in reverse but the empress is uh, a symbol of abundance fertility springtime yes and month is the month of may is when spring is starting to really flourish you have the page of cups in reverse this could be piscean energy but in the page of cups in reverse it's like you're not 
you're not really dreaming about this anymore. It's like you're really putting things into practice. You're putting it into play. Instead of just dream, dreaming about it, now you're really planting the seeds here, all right? You have the Fool in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. So, interesting. I'm just gonna get, let's get some clarification on this clarification. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles, right? So there is. This is a. This is most likely going to be a work, a month of work for you, and this has to do with springtime here. Plant. Yes. Uh, oh man. Oh my goodness. This has got to be. This is really beautiful, Capricorn. I don't want to show you this yet. Um, so what I'm getting here with the Page of Cups in reverse, the Fool in reverse, and the Eight of Cups in reverse, it's like you're getting ready to walk away from the past and you're getting ready to embark on a new journey, okay? Uh, some of you, now it's almost as if the Eight of Cups, with, I'm sorry, with the Page of Cups in reverse, it's like you're putting the dreamer energy to rest and you're deciding to take action here. You're setting yourself up for moving forward, for starting a brand new cycle. And here is that evidence in the work that you're doing for it. The Eight of Pentacles, okay? Now, you have the Five of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Empress, and the Tower. Okay, let's talk about this. Because I was saying the Mother in this deck represents Empress energy for me, okay? And here she is, the Empress. This is, it's almost as if by the time you get to May, everything has really come so full circle for you. You finally recognize the Five of Swords energy. You finally recognize the self-defeating, self-deprecating energy here. That unfortunately Capricorns can be kind of prone to, okay? That's just a lesson for you to learn here. Now, and so, Things come full circle. Here's that three of wands again. And so now you have the final insight to look and see how you have been investing in yourself. Sure, you may have been investing in yourself, but it hasn't been in the best way possible. And now the tower strikes and you're able to clear away everything that has kept you from really accepting the abundance of the universe where you spent April acclimating yourself with the abundance now in may you're finally getting to 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 work from a place of true abundance not just alongside it hoping that it'll work out in your favor the only way it'll work out in your favor is if it will if you believe it will capricorn no one else not even the universe can do that for you you have to be the one to believe it okay so you're excellent. You really are, with the tower and the empress really, you really are paving the way for this brand new start. Something that you've dreamed of forever. Okay? Wow. Wow, Capricorn. So then, for the month of June, now is the action. The father, right? You just went from the mother to the father. So you were balancing, you were getting acclimated, you were accepting, accepting the abundant energies of the universe, the feminine energies of the universe. And now that you are acclimated with that, because the divine feminine is on the rise anyway. So now that you're acclimated with that, you finally get a chance to take action. Page of Pentacles, look at that. So this is the dedication to the charge of your own self. King of Swords, okay? Woo, the page, look at that. There's that Page of Cups. So now you're able to really put this dreamer energy into action. Um, the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups to me is like it's really starting to come through. And the King of Swords, wow, look at that. The Ace of Pentacles and then the Two of Cups. Balance, oh my God, Capricorn, this is fantastic. So, okay, with the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, you have this starting over, this putting in the work and the dedication and the commitment and the honesty and integrity through it, within and of yourself to make your dreams a reality. And the King of Swords is that objective point of view that's going to help you bring this new start, this with the Ace of Pentacles, 
into fruition. I'm really definitely seeing an expansion of the fool energy that was in reverse for the month of May because it was kind of a blockage, but you were setting yourself up for it. And the balance between masculine and feminine here that has been achieved between the months or has the potential to be achieved between the months of May and June with the mother and the father, look at that. Two of Cups is underneath the deck. You have that balance now, or you have the opportunity to achieve that balance by the time you get to June. And this could be something that's happening throughout June, like the, the masculine and feminine energies are coming together, which is creating this new start, Ace of Pentacles. All right, Capricorn, so there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if Again, if you would like a personal look into your first six months of 2019, please go ahead and email me. It doesn't have to be the first six months. could be the first three months. It doesn't have to be just from January to June. It could be from February to July or whatever you think you would like to look into. Yeah, just go ahead and send me an email and I will work that out with you. With that said, thank you so much for tuning in. I wish you all a fantastic 2019, and I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah? Take care. Bye.